Hello and welcome to another RP tutorial video. Today in this tutorial video, we are going to see how we can take help from chat GPT to create RPA task or we can take help from chat GPT to create a logic. So I'm sure you are aware of chat GPT and uh, the benefit of chat GPT. So this is a very helpful tool which help us on providing any type of information so similarly in case if you want to build your task or if you think you stuck somewhere and you need some help or guidance so you can directly take help from chat gpt okay so you only need to pass the prompt or the information for which you are looking for a help and i'm sure chat gpt will give you the proper output or a response which will help you to achieve your goal so in this tutorial we are going to uh, see with one of the small example and there we are going to create a task to see whether the information which is provided by chat gpt is actually working or not before start in case if you have not subscribed this channel so i'm requesting you to kindly support us by subscribing this channel and if you feel this video is informative and helpful please click on the like button your one subscribe and like button will definitely help us on creating more and more content like this. All right, so now let's start. So here, what we are going to do, so let's say we have a list variable where we have some numbers available. And from this list, I want to get the highest number value so which is 99 so now we are going to pass the prompt to chat gpt and we'll try to take help from chat gpt to build this task although this will be a very small task but uh, you, i mean with this video i just want to make you aware like how you can utilize chat gpt to perform uh, any type of help or guidance related activities so let me go to the chat gpt let's pass this prompt and see what it is replying okay so now we can see the response which is given by chat gpt is so it is saying like open automation anywhere create new task okay define the variable and initialize this list value so all the information it has given now if you see it has also provided the sample uh, code also so we can see this code is uh, looks uh, very perfect so in order to achieve the required results now let's let's try to uh, replicate same thing in automation anywhere and we'll see whether it is working fine or not so first we need to create a list variable so i'm just using the variable name from here only so i'm just now let's add the value also okay so list variable created now we need to create another variable called highest score okay now let's start the process so first we need to initialize this highest number uh, highest score with zero so let's use a sign Now, as per chat GPT, it is saying, now we need to use the loop. So as our value is present in list variable, so we are going to use the list loop. So here you can type just list and you can see for each item in the list. So it will iterate through the list variable. So this is the list variable student scores. Now we need to get the output. So let's put a list item output and this we will keep as a number and let's create now come and see after that it is asking us to put a condition right so let's use a if condition to compare the value so we'll put this if condition inside loop okay so and this would be number condition 
so the list output is coming in this variable list output and we want to compare with this highest score so we need to put the greater than if you see here it is using this greater than symbol and we need to select the highest score variable okay so now till here we have done after that it is saying set the variable okay highest score with the value so let's use this number and here we are going to use this list item output we'll click on yes okay now our loop if is getting over and we have done with this and now we need to put a message box to get the value so let's try that also okay so now let's see whether we have done everything we have created this list variable we have initialized this highest score with zero and we are using this list loop and we are also using this if conditions and here we are also doing this set variable which is assign and now we are keeping a message box at the end to see the data now let's run this and see so we can see this 99 if i come to the notepad you can see this 99 is the highest number which we are getting here in the message box so let me close this so this way this is working fine now let's make some changes in the variable to see whether this is working with other data or not so here i'm just uh, let's say i'm replacing this with something 110 value okay and now let's rerun this code and see right so we can see this 110 data is coming so we can easily take help from chat gpt to uh, build our logic or it can like you know also provide the step by step guide to create your task also so in case this is very helpful for the uh, freshers or the person who is trying to learn rpa or somebody who is very new to the rpa and want to explore it more so you can side by side take help from chat gpt wherever you think help is needed this is not only applicable to automation anywhere so for any other tools also you can use like it it it, it can like you know help you for ui path power automate so whatever tool you think you want to work for it so you can just make sure you are passing the correct prompt to the chat gpt in order to get the exact uh, information which you are looking for so i hope this uh, video is helpful and able to make you understand how you can use the chat gpt uh, as your assistant in order to like you know get the help to complete some task so this is not only applicable to the rpa but if you are working in python or any other languages also so you can uh, go ahead and try taking help from chat gpt the only thing is like you know not always chat gpt give the correct steps or the informations but you have to make sure whatever information you are uh, getting from the chat gpt you are trying practically to see whether the expected results are coming correct or not so that's all from this video in case if you have any questions suggestions or comment you can either send the email or you can put into the comment section okay thank you so much for watching this video